Okay, third time's charm. Start this replay up. In this match, I went 10 and 4 with pretty much a wasted plane. I didn't get any kills and I lost the plane. Let's get it started and I'll talk about that as the game's loading up. I started out with a Yak 3. Uh, that's one of my favorite planes because it's a good climber, it's, it's good overall. Uh, all Yaks are kind of overachievers. Um, some are more specialist than anything like the the 9k it's not particularly good turner because of that heavy gun it's uh in the nose but um let's start out with the yak 3 it's going to pilot's uh view the intention is to to land on a but i've had bad experience experiences uh the last four to five games when i try and do that i end up messing up the prop or crashing the uh, gear but anyways um, I want to leave the mini map open so I changed my mind instead of landing I'll let someone else land and I'll guard them and initially that Yak-9 right there light def um, he looked like he was gonna land as well and I believe he saw me pull up and decided he decided not to land. He's outgunned at this point. There's a whole bunch behind me. And so I'm trying to gain altitude. Right now I don't see anyone else. And he's coming toward me and I want to level out. I don't want to be too slow. He's still gaining. I don't have enough speed. So I don't understand why he's gaining and he's he was climbing as well and still gaining on me. But anyways, he's focused on he's focused on someone else now. And I decide I'm going to watch and then I actually want to participate in the fighting. I should have left well enough alone. Cause I'm not gonna die yet but uh here's what happens see that nine <coughs> crash with a teammate of mine they took each other out and now I'm looking for another kill you know another someone else's stock and I think he's gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna try and dive on him and he's gonna be looking up and we're gonna crash always looking around even if they're not showing up on the or as a highlight sometimes I can see the dots And I believe here it is. No, is it? Yep. And that guy had a lot of speed coming up too. A whole lot. So we cancel each other out. So now I'm in the 90. This is my second favorite because of the gun. It's got a 37 millimeter in the nose. And this is the plane that I get the most kills in. I have a six kill streak with this plane. And note, I am I'm not bragging. Um, that That's good for me. Um, normally I don't have streaks like that. And again, I'm playing on my custom uh, desktop system. I'm going to nail this guy. Not here, but here. And that was a close call. 
so I check my tail to make sure no one's on me and then I pull straight up um, I don't get to make sure I'm not too slow I still got 300 plus KMH and so now I'm in a spiral because he was coming at me and now I go after this guy and I shoot the pilot so now I'm pulling back up what I should have done was I should have looked behind me and I kill him after they crash I actually get the kill so there's three kills in what 30 40 seconds So I'm looking at those dots over there. Those are enemy. They're just not highlighted, you know, in, in red. So I'm looking for my next target. Looking around to make sure that I'm not gonna be a, a target myself. Start climbing to prepare for that LA-5. and I do believe he's gonna take out my teammate and he does so now he's setting himself up to take the point and I don't really I suspect it but I don't I don't know for sure so now he's taking it I wait a little bit too long but I will bust a cap in his butt there you go and, and that was a little bit close I mean, it, it's not like I was cutting grass with the wings and all, but uh, I didn't know if I was going to pull out of that. And I enabled the flaps when I did that, too. Man, what a cannon. So that's kill number five. I end up stealing this one. I shouldn't have done that, but there's actually two of them. So I don't go, I, I, I skip him since he's so maneuverable and I go for that other plane. No, there's a new one. I go for him. He makes a mistake. He shouldn't be turning like that in that plane. And then he makes a mistake of pulling straight up. It's a big no-no. And I break his wing off. and we're all clear now we need to take that point that's the last of the kills that I get in this plane here's where I shouldn't have went head on that's another mistake not this one uh, but I do believe uh, maybe the next pass yeah, I think it's here I should have left well enough alone. So we both die. Sometimes you'll see it where one person will die and the other one won't. And I think we saw an example of that earlier in the video. And as soon as I spawn, there's a guy like it almost looked like he was stalking the the spawn and, and I usually hate that but he either got distracted or he wasn't stalking the spawn if I would have went closer to him I might have been in position to I might have been in position to uh to take him when he was stalled but he decides he wants to do a head-on with this gigantic gun I am in the uh, 9k that's my wife sorry about that so I end up getting a kill Got a yak. Uh, 
9k here and I think I get one more kill here I believe what I should have did was I should have kept on that uh that 110 and look how close that was because the 110 starts stalking me and what I hate with the, about those planes is you can hear them coming before they actually like watch this you can hear it they can't really sneak up on you So I'm catching it from all ways. And so I know I'm going to die. I always die with a 110 stopping me. So I decide I'm going to try and nail this. I'm going to go out fighting. I'm going to take someone with me. And there you go. I lost. My tail's all chewed up. One of my flaps are, you know, falls off. I'm going to lose the other one. And I got my flaps enabled trying to lose this guy and I can't what I should have did was I should have slowed down uh, so I figure out maybe I can try and take out that 88 before I die and I couldn't do it so at this point as you can see I'm at 8 kills And I do believe I hop in an LA-5 variant. Yep. I end up getting one kill with this one. It's not my favorite plane. I usually save it for last. But I've got a new plane in the rotation, so that I want that one to be last. I think it's an I-185 variant. So I forget which one I'm going to try and go after this time. There's that 112. I want the 110, I believe, and he's on me. Enable flaps. I'm trying to pull up on him. I actually got him. Got the kill. There's my favorite plane. And he's out turning me already. He must have like landing flaps on. Then I got knocked out by someone else. <laughs> yep, another LA-5. I did not even see him. Sometimes it's hard to kind of tell who's around you while you're fighting. So at this point, I'm in the 185. I've got nine kills. I actually got ten in this match, so this is my last one. I'm trying to figure out where, and I picked the easy target. Now there's the P-40 on my right. He looks like he's going for the same one. And it's not helping this guy any that he's got the smoke on. Maybe he forgot. But at this point I'm trying to beat my teammate to him. And I decide to level out to get more speed and then pull up at the last minute. And there you go. Then I start, just start pouring the rounds into him. And I hit the infamous central gear leg. Finally broke off the wing. And even though he's dead, he's still trying to shoot me. He pinged me a little bit. If I would have been quick, I could have got that Yak-7 before the round ended. And of course, he sees me at the last minute. Then everyone starts dying. Round's almost over. Those two guys, one gets killed and one dies. 
And then this guy gets killed as well. I help some. And they have no more planes. And this is one of the better matches I've had in the last couple of days. It tends to go in spurts. Victory roll right there. There's another one. But yeah, uh, it tends to go in spurts. Uh, sometimes I have good rounds, other times I'll have very, very bad rounds. Um, a lot of it depends on the players that you're flying with as well. Um, you know, some of those some of those rounds in quickly because people are just looking for the the plane kills and not looking at the uh, the capture points. And what happens is is uh, the round ends up ends up ending quickly because the capture points are all taken. No one's paying attention. Uh, the same for Air Dom. But anyways, you can see. I got the top score for my team. I got the top kills for my team. Um, and overall, I believe I'm in third. These two guys top me. Top me. But yeah. Um, so that round was a 15-minute round. Uh, it seems long, especially when you're immersed in the game.